This video is about the audio input used for Loris. So typically, the audio source you want to analyze, the sample you want to analyze. So that's the top left part of the UI. Uh, when you launch Loris, it's loaded with um, a sample which is a flute, so you can listen to it. So that's how it is. You can normalize it with a normalize button to have it louder. Okay, so but that's probably not going to be the sound you're going to use. Um, you can manipulate uh, it. So the first thing is you're going to select the part that you want to analyze. So that can be the full part, but some very small sub part as you want. Uh, due to using that selection mode, you can. You also have a zoom slide mode, so where you can. Uh, by dragging and dro dropping, dra dragging the mouse, select in a large sample the, the part that you want to, to, to use. Uh, to be back to the selection, just click again, select, and you're back to, to, to selection. Uh, and you can crop also just to use a sub part uh, of the sample. That's also very useful when you have long, very long, long, long samples. Um, so from that point, you can load file, for example. So let's load uh, here one, uh, for example, uh, these paper cut machine. So you, you just need to load it with your regular interface from your file system. Just you open, so you can have a first listen to it. Let's select that what looks to be the most interesting, interesting part. Okay, let's say we want to work only on this part, so we can select it, crop it, normalize, play to listen. Okay, so we, 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 we have it now. You've seen that on the right, uh, you have the visualization, so the waveform, the oscilloscope, and the, the, um, the spectrum uh, of uh, what you're listening. So. This. Okay, so that's mainly an indication. Um, you do have the volume here, uh, so if it's too loud, that's only affects the output level uh, you, you want to have. Uh, another way to use a sample is to drag and drop it, so you can just take it here, sorry, and drag and drop it to the UI. It's here now, we can select so if you want to crop, normalize, cropping is not monetary once you've selected and listen to it. Uh -huh. So that, that's working also fine uh, that way. Um, you have another way to do is to record your own voice or whatever you want to record with a microphone. Um, that is a record button, you have it here. Um, J just for you to know, you have an audio setup with it, which is the Max uh, MSP. It's, it's a Max patch, the, the UI here. And so you have the audio setup that you can click on, and um, from there you can select uh, the input and output and all the audio parameters. So here the connection for input device is done to my uh, iPhone. Um, so here on my iPhone I have that nice um, zoom microphone uh, connected to, 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 to it. So let's say hit uh, record. Aha! So kick in. So that not very high. We can uh, select that part. Uh, let's crop it and let's normalize and let's listen. Aha! So it, it, it's there. Um, so all, all fine. We can analyze it now. So these are the three main way to load a sample, either record, either load a file from the this button, or, or drag and drop from, from any place on your disk. So, uh, convenient. Um, that's easy enough, I guess. So, the next video will be about that uh, partial extraction analysis, uh, which is in the center and probably one of the most important part uh, of, the, of the work. So, see you for next video.